Hey Sebas, um, it's Joe, I hope you're doing well. So um, I finally did that project I was telling you about. And um, yeah, my legs are pretty damn short. So hopefully you can fit me in for massage. Um, yeah, give me a call back when you can, all right? Cheers. A lot of people have said like, oh, it's not possible. You can't ride all the times in under in 24 hours. It's just not doable. And I'm like, well, I beg to differ. I want to go over the edge and see what's over the other side. So my name's Joe Rascourt, and I'm going to be riding all the climbs in Andorra within 24 hours, which will be 23 climbs. 16 of those climbs will be either what category, HC climbs or first category. I live in um, Sitges, just south of Barcelona, um, and I'm kind of involved in cycling because I, I host riders at my uh, like cycling uh, B&B, and uh, I love hosting people and you know having new people on the bike, and that's always you know been such a passion of mine. Ever since I graduated uni, I, I went into this, you know, setting up this business and uh, and having riders around and hosting riders and and obviously with coronavirus everything went <laughs> a bit upside down and uh, the train was going along at a pretty good rate and then all of a sudden the train comes to a halt and everything the world's sort of like turned upside down and it's like oh okay if all tourism has stopped you know you know your life is completely different. So it's, uh, that was a little bit difficult, but uh, you know, you just try and find the positive in all the negative that came out of 2020. And, and, and I feel like this, this ride, it's like a cathartic experience. And uh, you know, the negative you draw is kind of being, the energy I'm getting from there is being put into this project. So either, uh, I, I guess, either we, uh, either we finish we complete it and we come back here, or I fail and uh, you'll find me in hospital. I live on a goal to goal basis and when Corona came, the hardest thing for me was having my goals just, you know, kind of vanish and for the first three months we were locked up properly and we couldn't go outdoors. And for me, like riding is, I, I guess it's my life, you know, I, I gain energy from riding um, and then when Corona hit, everything kind of stopped and I lost a sense of where to stand, I, I didn't really know where to stand. And so for the first few months, it was, it was really tough because I had no goals, I had no purpose. It doesn't look steep, but we're at like 12, 13. Do it. 
12 per cent at over 2,000 meters is a little bit tough. Am I getting there? Am I getting there? Yeah. What have we done? 147k and uh, 4,500 meters. So, yeah, still a bit to go, but we're feeling good. And first time we get to eat some lunch. <laughs> oh my god. We're basically going to climb over that one which is Bishalis. That's a moderate, moderate climb, nice and steady. So, and then we descend into a town called Encamp, and then we climb up uh, Cortals, um, which is super steep. Cortal, that's gonna hurt. So, uh, and then we come down Cortals, and then we go up the other side of Bishalis, which is probably the steepest climb in Andorra. So, yeah. Cheers. Oh, this is like life. Fuck. You want some sugar in your water now? What? Two, two bananas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with sugar, uh, one with sugar. Ride right of this size becomes multi-dimensional because you don't just have the, the physical aspect. You don't just have like, okay, I'm going to push myself hard and that's all I need to do. I just need to kind of push my physical boundaries. It's also like an eating contest. <laughs> You've got to eat so much to be able to keep yourself going, to be able to push that bit extra. I'm probably going to be burning around 20, 25,000 calories. And anybody who's watched those videos on YouTube of guys eating that in a day knows it, it looks pretty, uh, pretty insane. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a, a real challenge to just you know get enough food down, get, get enough energy um, in order to kind of sustain a good speed because that's the thing i mean it's not just okay we're going to ride for 24 hours and that's it like i've got to push uh, i've got to push on the climbs um pretty much the whole day and i've got to stay really concentrated on the descents because if you lose concentration on the descents then that's you know <laughs> that's curtains I'm already once ahead. Of course I made it. Oh, that's good. Oh yeah. Hashtag from where I pee. We ran like 270. Um, and now we've got three tough climbs to go. I have no idea who's Dumb idea this was. Absolutely brain dead. Blah. Excuse me. It's really hard to to keep eating. Like I really don't want to eat. Um, it's yeah, it's really really hard. Um, yeah, I mean, feel a bit tired. Um, but I think that's partly to do with the fact that you just have no appetite and you're like force feeding. <laughs> Was feeding yourself, but yeah. Well, I, mean, I think we're going. We're going fine. We're going good. As I said, three uh, three tough climbs to uh, to go. I've been in in a kind of forced 
isolation um, for so many months. Now I, I, I just feel like I want to get this out of my system and bring this whole period to a head with this ride, which is me taking back control of my own solitude and me choosing when I want to be you know, on my own and, and, and do a long ride on your own where you can clear your head. Um, and I just feel like this is the right opportunity to go about doing it, taking back control of your own solitude. Oh, I'm to, gonna. I'm gonna. You don't need to eat it all. Just. I'm gonna take, puke. Take at least two bites. Oh, man, just I'm puke. I'm. No, you're I'm only three gonna puke. Like my stomach is so fucked. You, but you only had sugar. Yeah. You only had sugar. Just one bite. Nah. Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm gonna puke. I need just plain water and an apple. You got an apple? That's good. That's better than that burrito shit. In my bag, there's 10 euros. Yeah? I really need a couple of Cokes. That will give me a boost. Yeah? You don't want a Ripple? No. No, no. A couple of Cokes. And maybe like a bag of uh, like candy. If you can find But that would like give me a huge boost. Because I didn't want to take it before. Because it really like fucks me up. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, so far I've ridden um, 335 kilometers. So we've, I've ridden 16 hours, 32 so far. we're gonna do it's like super hard it's really steep it's uh, I think it's around 10 kilometers so it doesn't sound too bad distance wise but it's super steep it's the what is the one climb I've been worried about all day half past 10 it's pretty good I'm doing good for time it's all about this next time this is the one that matters all right let's make it happen I'm looking to push the boundary. 
who doesn't want to push the boundary? If you're not trying to, to grow, if you're not trying to push the boundary, if you're not trying to go forward, if you're not trying to go higher, further, faster, you're going backwards. If you push yourself to a different place, into a darker place, and you, you're able to break through that, it takes you to you know, really, really amazing places. And it does make you a lot stronger. That's what I'm, what I'm looking for in this challenge, you know? Yeah, we're going good. Well, 30k to the top. Uh, just under 30k actually, like 20, 25k to the top. And then we'll descend three kilometers, come back up three kilometers, and we're fucking done. I'm not accepting this. I'm not accepting you can't do this. No, I'll accept it when I've tried it and given my everything. And then I'll be like, okay, I tried. It wasn't possible. I'm not accepting straight off somebody saying, nope, it's uh, too hard, too many climbs. Can't be done in 24 hours. Like a load of people have said, and that really grew. That gave me a lot of fuel. And I think the more somebody says this to me, the more the fire grows inside my belly. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do everything now to prove you wrong. <laughs> You don't just want to do it, you want to, you want to set a record too. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, shut up. The physical pain that you get in the moment is temporary. Whereas the pain of the failure of not completing your goal, that sticks around. Yes. Oh my God. Fuck, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe we did it. Jesus. I'm, I'm totally wrecked. <laughs> totally wrecked. I was like, and my knee started hurting and this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good. But uh, yeah, you just push through. I mean, you just keep going, right? You just, like one, yeah, you just keep the pedals turning. Love you too.